we can't do this render challenge on our own. And so we have armed ourselves with some interns. Is this like a Ratatouille situation where you're piloting me? We're gonna basically take a 3D scan self-portrait type deal and then do a simulation with that 3D model. Don't let up just yet. Okay, no, you're good, you're good. Perfect, perfect. I don't even know what I'm doing, Jordan. You don't even know how to phrase the question. No, I'm not, I'm not feeling too good about this. Mike, I need you to hit control S to okay. save. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back to today's render challenge. Now, Jordan and I were supposed to be rendering against each other today, but there's been a complication. You see, today is the day of our weekly buddy breakfast, and we were doing what we call the passage of the bacon, where both of us use both our hands to guide the bacon into the cold oil. It's just a, a fun thing we do to bond spiritually and mentally. We've done it hundreds of times without ever having an issue. But this time, Ren preheated the oil, and the oil was very hot. <laughs> And hot hurts. <sighs> hot does hurt. And now we can't do this render challenge on our own. We can't hit the keys, we can't clack the mouse. So we need some new hands. And so we have armed ourselves with some interns who have hands as well. And these interns are going to actually help us by pressing all the buttons that we want to press but physically can't. We will use our brains to create art, but not our bodies. Mm. Interns! interns! He beat you. I'm not happy. I, I he beat you. I mean, it's okay. So we've got Matt here. Matt, right? Mark. Mark. Sorry, Mark. We got Mark here. He's our intern. Well, this is my intern, Brett. What's He's up, son? A ray of sunshine mm -hmm. turned into a person. So are we supposed to know how to do this? You don't have to know how to do any of this. You are going to be my hands and my fingers, and you will orchestrate everything that I want to make happen. Is this like a Ratatouille situation where you're piloting me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's really just about following me. Follow me. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Is this, is this like Mr. Magagi? So it's more the same hand I was kind of envisioning. Okay. That we could almost link in this way. Uh huh. That you are an extension. Now, my fingers. Ooh, I like that. What do I want to do? Click. Exactly. Click. Yep. Click. Yep. Our primary objective today is speed. We got to get these renders done. We can't get hung up on any settings or any sort of procedures here. You do have a notebook to take notes if you need them. But I will be able to tell you which buttons to press, which commands to type in, what settings to put. And we will create a really awesome render so that Jordan and I can present our artwork to Nico to judge. Originally, the whole plan for the challenge was that we we're going to basically take a 3D scan self-portrait type deal and then do a simulation with that 3D model. But I can't do a scan, so you're gonna have to do the scan. How? So we will 3D scan your head, and by we, I mean Brett will scan your head. I thought we were competing. Why wouldn't I just sabotage him by getting a really <laughs> scan? We have morals here at Corridor, and we will be good sports about this, and you will both make good scans of each other without intentionally sabotaging it. We'll, we'll shake on it. Do you want me to sabotage? I, I will go back on my handshake in a moment, in a second. What's he saying? We need to focus on us right now. Okay. Well, listen, I've never met this guy before. I don't, just don't trust him. Well, he's scanning yeah. my face, huh? Yeah, so... Is there like a bonus for you if you win this? <laughs> if you come in on that, I'll make sure he loses. I'll make sure. Uh, my morals are high. I'm just saying, I don't... I don't, good. I don't think we need I to let them whisper, the man. noise change who we are. I agree, okay. I, Keep I don't it, care. Uh, just open a box, put that in there, and put that in your back pocket. We'll think about it later. I'll say a prayer real quick. Yeah, I'm with you. Dear Heavenly Father God, we well, thank you for today, Lord. Remember the Crew Cuts episode we did about you scanning? I remember it, watching it on CorridorDigital.com, where people can see Crew Cuts. We're just going to do that again, but instead of a donkey, it's Brett. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Amen. We're gonna go upstairs to the kitchen to actually do the scans because of all of our dramatic lighting will interfere. For these 3D scans, we'll be using our phones and one of my favorite apps, Polycam. Hit done. Done. So it's uploading right now. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and get the other scan going. So do you remember the face you practiced? Okay, I need you to just hold, I need you to just hold, hold that, that width. Excellent. I don't know that works. My champion. Uh, my champion, bring it in. That's well, the first just, victory of the day. I just held my mouth open. It's uploading. We are here, ready to go on this challenge. We have an hour and a half before our first break, and then we'll have a little bit of time after that to finish everything up. We're gonna have to move extra fast. For honor, let's shake on it. Let's do it. A little further away. 
for phase, Anna. Phase wow. one. You can then. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is it, Mark. Oh no, our battery's running on low. Oh, what? Can we, are we plugged in? Already off to a bad start. Okay. So what I was thinking for what we could do here, we could do a simulation of your head crumbling to meaty bits. Simulation of my head. Let's explore this Okay, together, let's right? do this. The first thing is the viewport here. Okay. And this is where everything's gonna exist that you will see. We'll have to chop off your shoulders so it's just from the neck up, but then we'll have to close that hole. And then we will then run that through a Voronoi fracture and then apply a second material to the inside. That mesh, under the mesh tower, OBJ, click on that, and start the download. We should see that populate. Oh, I think we got it, sweet. Excellent work so far. Okay, we're making progress, so great. the basics. This isn't- Rumbling. I don't know why you're taking notes on this part. How am I supposed to remember? You said so much. You said about a Vortigaunt, fracture, you said meaty bits. Mark, I think you might be thinking a little too much here. Here, let's, uh, I need you to put your hand on the mouse instead of the pin. You got this, you got this. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, excellent, that's thank, perfect. Thank you, Jordan, thank you. You're a natural. Thank you, man. We're moving so quick. Mm. And boom, Ugh. right there. Not Ooh. too bad. Ugh. The Not eyes too are. too bad. The eyes, you know. I think we can work with it. I think we can work with it. This is gonna be great. And start download. Start download. Now open up Cinema 4D. Okay. Click on the cube in the viewport. Yeah, awesome. Click on the object tab. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And set the size to five. Awesome job. That's perfect. Excellent work. This is gonna be the base of our statue, right? Now, control S for me. Mm -hmm. Save and always save your work. All right, what do I do next? Uh, go ahead and zoom out. We're basically gonna cut off your shoulders. We don't need them. Okay. All right, once we actually delete your shoulders, we're going to optimize the mesh of your head. Go down to smoothing about halfway down the list. Now, don't let up just yet. Okay, no, you're good, you're good. Perfect, perfect. This is great. This is great. Oh my goodness, that's some hostile. That's some it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Like, mm, mm. Whoa. <laughs> now what we wanna do is we wanna bevel the edges. All that means is nothing in the world has a hard edge. Even this table, see it's like a rounded edge. So we wanna give a rounded edge to this. Just, it looks so much nicer. Yeah, like that. Like that, perfect, like okay. go. Oh my gosh, she's beveling edges already. This is amazing. Let's go ahead and add a ground plane. Hold that down and it'll open up a menu. Shift. Don't have to hold shift. No shift. Go to the... Plane. Yes. Now you've made a ground plane. Boom, look at that, dude. That's pretty good. It does, yeah. I said it was pretty good. It does is not a proper response. You're right, yeah. yeah. Quick call, water break. Let me help you there, you got it? Let me know when, let me know when. You good? I can hear you. Yes, I'm trying to tell you. Sorry, son. That's okay, we'll get better. So the next thing we need to do is break your head. Are you ready to do this? We're going to do the Vortigon fracture for your head. Okay, we've got our base. Now we're going to make our psych. Brett, do you know what a psych is? Uh, a psyche? Yes, someone who can uh, read the future and like tell your, yes, I know, Dean, of course. It's like that, but it's not that at all. Oh. It is basically just this. It's the ramp a green background. Screen. Click on that, and then click on light psych. Fantastic, we've got our psych. We've got our psych, baby. So you guys are coming up on one hour left. How are you guys feeling? Great. We, great. Oh. It's not going good. You know, usually when I'm working on things, I'm, I'm working by myself, you know, I, I, I'm in control of everything. I have everything in hand, and it's my idea being put forward. So going into this and knowing that I was going to just be a vehicle for someone else to execute their idea, you know, it's not something I'm used to. Do I get any say in the creative process? Do you want to say? I was thinking we could do some kind of like distant landscape where you had this guy who was like holding on to this tree over here and he was on this like hillside and then you see me all huge in the distance like but my but there's like lot it's like I'm I, I'm a giant that died on a volcano right so you see me and I'm here with my, my hair this is hair but then out of my eyes just lava goes Fish out of it, and then, but this is like super in the distance, and you see like shooting stars. It's at night, so the lava like illuminates the rest of it, and you got like this guy with I don't know, he's got like a sword or something. I regret asking for your input. All right, let's move on. Enter in emitter. E M I T T E R. Hit enter. We've got an emitter. All right. Now, so we've got this. This is great. Hit play for me. We should see some uh, some balls coming out. This is exactly what we want. Fantastic. Now. 
What we want to do is we want to add dynamics to this. What we should see is the ball is coming out and falling to the ground and landing on the ground. Beautiful. My man, look mm. at this speed. So this is already looking fantastic. So the next thing we need to do is we need to basically tell the program that the plane that you've made and that the head that you fractured are both physics objects. So it'll land on the plane. Yes. So there's going to be two different physics objects we're going to add. Um, I just realized we've been going for almost an hour and we haven't even saved the project yet. It's still I... called Untitled, so hit Control S. They hadn't saved the whole time. Mm. That's really bold. Like, it's fine. Like... Mike, I need you to hit Control S to okay. save! Okay, okay, okay. How are you guys feeling? Oh man, feeling good so far. We're moving wow. like lightning like, right now. Like totally different vibes. Really? Yeah. Between the teams, this is this seems yeah. like the laid back casual team. Yeah. This is we we have a Zen philosophy here where you can't really learn if you're panicking, and it's all about brotherhood and bonding and you know sharing information. It's it's supposed to be a beautiful thing. You know what? Let's let's take a break for a minute. Let's do some meditation, Jordan. I want a cup. Strike me apart from you. Mm. Vision mm. a perfect render. Mm. The pride. The smile on my face. The warmth of my embrace. What's up, Mark? Hey, it's really stressful over with Ren. Well, over here is love, my friend. Yeah. This is all love. Look, look at the smile. The <laughs> sun is coming out. Yeah. Like I, the haven't I haven't smiled. I haven't so smiled at all. I don't think I've ever smiled. Look at you. Welcome yeah, to our this, side of the this is, <laughs> this is beautiful. Wow. This is beautiful. But we are still competing, so maybe it's but best this, if we it, just. Yeah, that's true. You know. You want me to like a, I, yeah, you can, you can I think you stop holding my hand, Mark, but I appreciate it. Honestly, you've made it weird. So if you can mm. Ah. Okay. All right. Well, let me know when you do this again. I'll, yeah. Yeah. I'll be yeah. right there. For sure. We'll send an email. You guys gonna keep going? Uh no, we're probably gonna get out of here. But then we're pretty much done. We just gotta clear some We're gonna wrap up. Clear some negative Put energy. Put the chairs away. Clear yeah. the negative oh. energy. You know? A little chi dump. Yeah. yeah. So but we'll see ya. Okay. In for four, out for eight. Mark and I playing around with those simulations reminded me of an audiobook that I really liked called Off to Be the Wizard. Thanks to today's sponsor, Audible, I'm gonna tell you about it. It's actually a very fun series. It's lighthearted. It's also very nerdy because it basically deals with this dude who figures out that he's living in a simulation by discovering a text document, and when he edited his height in that text document, he became taller. When he discovers that he can literally edit reality around him, he kind of becomes a god and gets a little out of hand until he gets in trouble. And so he ends up retreating to the Middle Ages because he can travel through time and space and discovers that there's a whole community of other wizards there. And that's where the book kind of goes from there. There are several titles in this series at this point, and I've listened to all of them on Audible. What are some of the benefits of Audible? Well, let me tell you. They're pretty Premium Plus membership is excellent. You get a free title every single month included in your membership on top of all of the Audible originals that they've got. They have a whole breadth of titles and audiobooks and theatricals. You know like high production podcasts? They got tons of those. They've got lots of comedy shows. They've got like these guided wellness things if you want to like do some meditation. With your membership you can choose one title per month to own and it's literally yours forever. And the app itself makes it very easy to listen to Audible pretty much anywhere. You can download the titles or stream them. My favorite feature is to be able to literally tell my Amazon Echo to like pick up reading the audiobook after I get home from driving. Without any break in the audiobook, like it's able to pick it up exactly where I left off. If that sounds at all interesting to you, head on over to audible.com slash corridor crew, or you can use your phone and you can text corridor crew to 500 500 and you'll automatically get that membership and that free trial. But for now, let's get back to trying to get Mark to make anything. Progress is going a little slower than I initially anticipated. No, 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 focus, focus. I need Mark to trust the process and I think he's getting too inside his head. He's trying to take too many notes. See, Mark came to Corridor to learn visual effects and I am here to win. So for both of us to actually achieve these goals, he needs to clear his head and I need to be better at communicating. I think if we both focus on these things, we will achieve our goal of learning visual effects and winning. Let's chat real quick. Here, uh, don't worry about this, Nick. Let's, let's uh, come with me, come with me, come with me. We Are we on a, aren't we on a time crunch? Yeah, we are, we are. This is important though. Just come here, come here. You're doing great, but I think you're getting into your head too much a little bit. I'm not in my head. I'm trying to channel your head through my head, but your head's not fitting because your head's too big. And my head is huge. You see my head? Yeah, it's massive. What are they doing? 
What they so, they're wasting time to me. They're all over the place. Mm. What are they talking about, Dean? I need you You're to trust the creative be. process here. And so, for that, we need to have a unified idea. And I think what we have is a pretty good one of your head fracturing to pieces, because that's something that I know that you can do in the next hour. But in order for that to happen, I need you to be my arms. Will you be my arms today? I'm just not used to giving up control, you know? I've been doing YouTube on my own for a very long time, so it's very hard for me to assume that other people actually know better than me. I will trust you. Thank you. I will empty my mind. Okay. I will become a vessel. Teamwork. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. Now, I want to try to animate the head. We can do this. We can totally do this. You're a very good student. We want it to end at the base of his neck. Okay. So a little lower, right there. Are you teaching Brent to rig right now? We're rigging, baby. This guy is a natural. We're gonna rig this head uh, and hit play. Let's just see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that buddy. Looks good. Look that looks really good. Okay. How are you feeling? I need to empty my mind. <laughs> okay. Scared me. You ready? Okay, now that your head is clear, we're going to turn both the fractured head and the ground plane into physics objects so that they can actually be simulated. If everything went according to plan, hit the space bar and it should collapse. <gasps> but I'm dead. <laughs> I've, I've literally never done a physics thing before. Feels cool, right? Okay, Brett, so the head rig should be working with the emitter now. Why don't you hit play on that? My guy. My I mean, guy. It's, it's strange. It's strange, but it's working. And that's really what all we're aiming for right now. Do you feel the energy? I feel the energy from you teaching me, son. There's nothing about these sleeves that are magical. It's you. Oh my gosh. Stop. Let's do this. You can keep going, though. You can I'll say that a couple more times. Right? No, man. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm alive. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm alive. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm in pain. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm getting too distracted. Clear your head. <sighs> I need to make more space for my head. What's happening is my brain is so powerful and strong, it's actually pushing back through the connection into your head. So you're getting some of my ADHD spasticness. Dude, Do you I have also it? have ADHD. I have ADHD. Dude, this is, no wonder we keep getting so distracted. <sighs> it's fine, I'm getting caught in the weeds. We've got about 25 minutes left. 25 minutes, okay. awesome. awesome. Yeah, we're feeling, feeling all right. Feeling all right. Um, yes. Are we? Can we legally donate any time to them? Because we're really starting to sympathize. You know what I mean? It's against the rules. Yeah. It's out of okay. my hands. Uh, our hands are tied. <laughs> so, we are going to take this up a level now. I think you need to be hitting the head with a wrecking ball. Okay. How do you feel about that? I'm okay with that. Right click on your sphere. Rigid, rigid body. Perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it some initial velocity. So at the beginning of the shot, it'll shoot out like a projectile. Okay. Okay, that is going the correct direction. Now let's up that even more. <gasps> I'm dead. That was actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, I wanna do the camera. I'm gonna like get a nice, cool, dynamic, looping camera move. That should be pretty satisfying. Play that for me. We should start zoomed in, and then we push back in. It's not the most beautiful move in the world, but we got something done. That's what we're going that's, for. That's, uh, that's something. It's something. Yeah. Yeah. That, look, that, that looks pretty good to me. I think that looks pretty good. So, to take this a little bit further, we need something to come clear all of your head debris away. Mm -hmm. um, that could be a box, it could be a rolling pin, it could be your head again. I think my head again would probably be the best option. All right, all right, okay. The idea here is that we're going to have your head kind of like slide into frame to push all the debris out. Uh -huh. And it'll come back, rotate up, and shrink back into place. It's, we're gonna have to scale it up. Okay. Click and drag to scale. And go until it's at like, free, yeah, there you go, perfect. That big? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> great, great, okay, great. Uh, so now- It doesn't sound great. You guys now have a 10 minute warning. Your models and your animations need to be placed before this phase ends. Plug the orange sun. Orange sun? Orange, orange sun, sun into the texture oh hole. My, that's the beautiful orange. Good point. I mean, it's that's more funny. like a nubby gesture. It comes, comes on the frame, pushes stuff off, 
yeah. and then returns to the center where it was. Yeah. Sweet, we have an animation. We are just gonna drag and drop some materials here. We're adding a metallic material to the ball, and then we can add a couple other random materials to the ground in the back. Yep. Five minute warning. Uh, Five minute warning team. Models and animations yeah. need to be locked. Phase two is only lighting and finalizing. Okay. Oh. Go, go control D. Uh, control D. And then uh, put, put bait. So that's locking in the simulation, okay. so it's not gonna like openly sim. Final minute in this phase. One more phase to go. Perfect. Perfect, okay. Now let's call this locked. The animation is done. Hit control S. That's oh, it. and that's time. Hands off. Save your projects, we are moving into the Hands next off. phase. Save your projects, we are moving into the next phase. We know teaching is exhausting. We've scheduled this 10 minute break before we start the next phase, which is a 30 minute finalize your renders finalize your lighting and get it done in the last phase. So, I need a snack. I'm gonna go uh, make something real quick. Um, when I get back, I will walk you through the final stages of this. The physics is baked. It moves it all out of the way. It's lined up. The lighting isn't perfect, but it's okay. I think that we're very close to something being done. I heard that Mark was writing notes and stuff, trying to get a better feel of everything. I didn't really have time. Like, there was just so much happening, so. I mean, the only note that I really have is just uh, listen to Jordan. I mean, you know, I'm listening, I'm interpreting, but it's like the things are going by so quickly, you know, like the tools and stuff. So it's like I can basically follow uh, what Jordan has, but it's, it's gone the moment I've done it. Wait, is Big Snack then? Yeah, well, we're about to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, will you cook me an extra slice? I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries at all. See? That means less bacon for us. I know that, but you know, we gotta but, work on you know. what we got. We're taking our snack break. Our mid-render snack break. Yeah. Which is actually an old corridor tradition. Yeah. We've been doing it for years. I mean, I love snack time because it's a chance to refuel, to rehydrate on some bacon grease, and just get back in the game. One, two, three! <laughs> During the mentor break, injured hands and all, Jordan and Ren wanted to try to cook up some more bacon for some reason. They are no longer gonna have their eyesight for the rest of this challenge. You guys are gonna have to take art direction from the rest and make things just be a verbal encyclopedia. Oh, I don't know what happened. I don't know why they were cooking bacon, but they're going to this next place blind. So. So sorry, bro. That seems like a hospital. That doesn't seem like we should continue this challenge. Brett, you can do this, man. Mark. Why were you cooking bacon? I couldn't help it, man. It's a compulsion. I needed the bacon. The show must go on, though, Mark. We must finish this render. Okay. Okay, so Brett. Here, Jordan, I got you, son. I got you, son. I got you. Thank you, brother. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. So, it is up to you to do the rest of all of this. I need you to have creative control over the rest of this project on your own. I will do my best to help but I will be unable to actually see what it is you're doing. You have grown so much, and I think this baby bird is ready to fly. Mm, All right? I, I think so. Yes. 30 minute timer to hit the render button begins now. Use your mentor to the fullest of their capabilities, but it is on you now. Have you heard of three-point lighting? Yeah. Fantastic. I think that's what we go for here. But I think maybe we do three area lights, huh? Maybe we do three area lights. Okay. And you just, you angle them where you feel they should be, so we've added an HDRI that works as a pretty good like baseline for what we want to have for the lights. So now we need to add some lights to our scene. We're gonna want to basically have a big edge light so we can see the contour details behind the back of your head. I'm thinking frame left here and the a little bit of fill. This is like kind of the spice layer where we really like zazz up the, the render. Um, so the light we're gonna want to move. You see it in your Sensing that you're doing great. Uh, I don't really have much faith in what I'm doing right now, Jordan. I think that this is kind of a, a I'm, message I'm for- I'm looking like a zombie. Like the lighting's making me look like a zombie. That's, that's so hot right now. I've created a 300 by 300 light directly behind my head that is shining at an extreme intensity. Really? 300 by 300? I made it bigger. Yeah. Let's make it smaller. No. Nah. All right, I'll make it smaller. Made it small. Do you have your first light in position? No, I kind of, I'm trying to figure out where I, I kind of lost. I keep moving the camera on accident. Um, um, 
The area light is changing the colors oh, of the whole shit. image. Should I just delete the whole thing? Uh, Dude, cut it. Did a... And don't forget, you have the undo at your yeah. disposal. Undo. I wish I could see. Well, you can't. You made bacon and you burnt your eyes out. Was it worth it? Of course it was worth it. Did you eat of it? Of course Did it you was... eat the bacon? I will. I'm envisioning what he's doing and I'm absolutely loving it. Mm. I couldn't be prouder. Mm. I'm not, I'm not feeling too good about this. Like Jordan's been able to, to like look at the screen and, and sort of navigate me, but now um, this is not going to be good. Brett, mm -hmm. one thing that I've been very proud of in working with you is how good of a listener you've been. What I'm needing now, though, yes. is for you to use the mouth. For sure. I think the biggest thing for me is figuring out what I'm doing. Yes. Um, to, to figure out what... To how, to, how to open my mouth, you know? Like, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing, Jordan. You don't even know how to phrase the question. No. When you were here, without this, this on your face, yes. it, life was a lot easier. Mm. Uh, Tell me about life it. Life is a little darker now. Oh, um, and that's why you bring in the light. I think we're very close to hitting render. Roger. DC motion blur. I do. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. What kind of feel are we going for? We're we going for darker? I mean, this is, this is your baby now, you know? I want you to light it the way you want to light it. But we, we can certainly go brighter, so yeah. And over on the right, uh, go ahead and click the little uh, folder button. Two minutes left. Two minutes! Mr. Blindfold, there's two minutes. We'd like you to get the render button by then. The render button? Darn it. How do you feel about how it looks? Um, it looks very plain, you know what I mean? Looks it looks very plain. It's, it's, which is fine. No, nothing too dynamic. No. We don't need that, you know? Maybe we just put a pause in the lighting, like, delete whatever you don't like. Let's get it to where it's, like, passable for you. Okay. Now put in where it says kilobytes, put in 50000. Zero, 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 wait, where, 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 where? Click the enable, we want to enable that. Kilo, from, uh, from zero. Okay. Yeah, Fifth. for where, kilobytes? Yeah, got it. Okay. Is it on now? Six. Okay, control S. Five. Hit shift Four. R. Shift R. Three. Click run button, run button, run button. Is it rendering? rendering? Is it? I don't know. That's it. You got it? That's it. Did something pop up? Something popped up. RGB updated, updating one. <laughs> I, I got the image. Oh my God. Dude, brother, we did it. Whew. Nice. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, fist bump. <laughs> nice, dude. There's enough light. There is enough light in there. Okay. Is there like dramatic shaping to the it's light? Because so you have the edge light, and yeah, there should be a little bit of it's all around film. the edges. I got like all the edges. You don't want to have too much light, because then everything is just too illuminated. Brother. That was the most stressful thing I've ever done <laughs> in my life, dude. Like, I am proud of you. Thank you. I think. You are the best arms I could have possibly hoped for. I hope it looks good. I tried. You no, know, you know what? I have zero hope that it's gonna look good because I know it's gonna look good. Because I trust you. Okay. I trust your creative vision here to pull this through the end. Okay. So now I. Now we uh, do something that all visual effects artists are incredibly familiar with. We wait. How long? Well, uh, I think we're going to need to wait all night. It's a good thing that we're able to heal so quickly from yeah. tragic oil accidents. It's the LA water. There's something in it. Ah, yeah. you know what? I think you're right. The renders baked all night, and now they are ready to serve up to Nico, who has been requesting we give him the coolest renders we can make. Look, the train at Corridor doesn't stop for anybody, whether or not you have hands, or you have eyeballs, doesn't matter. I need my renders, I need them now. Nico. Yes, sir. I can unequivocally say this is the best render I have ever done. Ooh. That's, I like that confidence. Is this the only render you've ever done? What? What was the question? All right, I guess uh, we're up. So, Mark, I need you to click it. Wait, my hands work again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Woo. I do like how it feels like it's in heaven. <laughs> you, know? mm -hmm. you said you fixed the lighting. We had a whole background that we had made. That was a nice thing. What happened to the edge light that you were making? You said the edge light looked great. Look, you told me how to make one. I forgot how you told me how to make another. And I couldn't figure out how to make it any dimmer. So I owned it. Mm. I owned it. First impressions is it's got a little bit of drama to it, which is mm. nice. 
Then the big head comes in and sweeps it all away. And that's honestly pretty satisfying. That was a step up I wasn't expecting. The 3D scan looks good. I like the shininess, like the inside of the pieces. The background being pure white, you know, it gives you some nice reflections, but it's just, it's a little boring. But all things considered, especially considering like, you've never touched a 3D program before, this is like a solid, like I'm five weeks into my 3D program experience. Mark and I, we started off a little slow. I think he was taking everything I said a little too seriously. However, that generated this situation where you were actually learning very quickly. And it gave me the confidence to trust you and your artistic vision. So I wasn't even worried during that last bit when I lost my eyes, because I knew that you were gonna make something very cool because you convinced me that you could. In all honesty, you are quite a good teacher. I did take in everything that you did say, or as much of it as I could fit in my head. The bar right now is pretty high. This is like a very clean render. It looks really pretty. Materials are great. Motion blur is like spot on. Like, it looks really good. I, I hope what Jordan and Brett have done is just as tasty. We'll, we'll find out soon. So, all right, Jordan. Mind, I'll go ahead and press that button. I believe in you, Chan. I don't know what we're gonna see here. I just wanna warn you guys. Whoa! There's animation in it. Wow. wow. You lit this bread? You know, lighting wise, I'm very proud of you. Brett, I really am because oh, yeah. I know I know you were panicked. I know you were worried, Champ. Once uh, the blindfolds came on, that's when um, I lost everything. I thought at one point I um, deleted everything. And I <laughs> thought I was pretty screwed because Jordan couldn't see anything. But the fact that you went simple, you went with a simple HDRI to carry the scene and just let it be what it needs to be. The fact that you committed to that last second, I really respect you for that. Thank you, son. The decision to put a little stand below Brett's 3D model that it's anchored to the space as if it's a sculpture, uh, which lends to the creepiness of the sculpture than moving and vomiting. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, buddy. Thank you. Come here. I'm so proud to see one of those hugs. Come here. It's a great normal. Right? That was good, son. All right. Okay. You, honestly, yeah, I feel like you deserve it too. I feel like we can bring in the fold, bud. <laughs> Love you too, champ. No, Love I, didn't, you too. I didn't say that. Well, so. I know these videos are lame when you don't pick a winner, but in all honesty, these are both really good. They both demonstrate the true goal of this, which is to have you guys step into the shoes of a CG artist and try making a render. So all in all, like, they're both really good. You know, I don't think I can pick a winner. All I think I can do is judge them, and I judge them as adequate. <laughs> Thank you. Boo! Pick a winner, coward! <laughs> wow. Declare someone better! I know who will determine the winner. What does HDR stand for? My dynamic range. Yes! <laughs> yes, we win! Yes! You did it! Yeah! <laughs> what do I win? Uh, just, you know, the love and admiration of all. Eternal respect? The tools that are available to do these seemingly mystical, incredible things are so much more accessible than people understand. Like, Cinema 4D, as far as I know, is a paid program, but there's free alternatives out there that do pretty much the same thing. When taking the tech you have on your phone to do a 3D scan to generate a 3D model, which I don't believe was an option even a few years ago, probably, and you're able to just pop it in, place all of these different textures on it, you're able to animate it, you're able to have these simulations, physical simulations. I remember watching tech demos of simulations like 10 years ago, and I never imagined that it would be possible to even have that capability in my home. I've never touched this software before in my life, but now I realize like, oh my God, I can make whatever I want, so long as I put the effort in. This was a lot of fun, and I feel like even I learned a whole lot from this experience, so I think we should try doing this challenge again. Leave a comment down below suggesting who should be the schmo and who should be the pro. And maybe we'll do another one soon. Subscribe. I'll Thanks for watching. The bacon. Oh, dude, the bacon. snack time!